Doing some linoleum prints here. A couple colors. Doing some fish. Making some fish. No better profession than to make some fish. Take it out, put in the wax paper to attempt to keep it from sticking to anything. And then, I look up. In the back. And I look up. Smiling soul. <laughs> Find the first smiling soul. Boom. Smile. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. There's, so there's a process to it. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff. About a couple years ago, got uh, just wanted to try something new, other than the uh, the pen and inks that I do a lot of times for fish. People have seen, and uh, just thought, well, I always liked like uh, etchers and uh, you know woodcut artists and stuff like that. So I thought I'd give it a try. This is what I'm doing, and like uh, over there is like the, the circus series that I've been doing, which is uh, three colors. This is a two color design. And uh, yeah, just kind of a nice way to make reproductions and not have to deal with like printmakers. You can do it yourself. You don't have to go to some printer. <laughs> it's nice and labor intensive too. It keeps me out of trouble. <laughs> Uh, in Chicago, uh, in my, in our second bedroom. <laughs> okay. Boom. <laughs>
I'm feeling great and Mike isn't having a good day, then I will notice that and not have a, not have a good time myself generally or be frustrated because it's so much about communication. Everybody has to be for it, I think, for it to be really. It's a challenge to like not bring your, you know, if you're having a bad day. It's like I, I guess any professional has to deal with. If you're not having a good day, like not the effort of not not bringing your your shit to work, you know, trying to. That's a, I I think being a musician is really a great job for that too. I mean because it's like <coughs> so clearly that you know whatever is happening in your personal life if. You go on stage, and it's just you have to just kind of forget about it. You have to get it out of the way, and you know it's part of what. I mean, I, I think that's a good. It's a good process. I mean, I think a gig, a whole gig, and improvising music is kind of more about the process than the end result. And 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 like where you're making an album, although process is important, you're focusing much more on the end result. You're focusing on like it's good the decision. finished product. You know, what's this ultimately going to be? Whereas with a gig, the whole point is you know, all these personal things, like how can we go out and get out of the way of our good or bad days and, you know, and how can we open up to the audience and to each other and communicate and get conversation going and and create an environment where something magical or interesting musically can happen. We have an audience that comes sort of want to hear willing that. to put that, give us that patience and the energy to let that develop, you know. They're, they're, it's like, almost like they're coming and saying, Okay, you know, we understand, you know, everyone in this room has different kinds of day. I mean, you know, I'm putting words to it, but it's just kind of like we're we're willing to like give this the room and, you know, our attention and focus and and energy, you know, to 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 you know, to give this the room to to happen. You know, so like go ahead. You know, have have your, you know, see see what you can, you know, have your conversation. Kind of that's like so how it feels, and then when we actually do get a really good conversation going, it's sort of like, it feels to me like the whole thing becomes almost more directly open to the audience then too. Like you get to that level, and then it's like, yeah, here we are. And then you know, and then it's sort of like you can look at the audience and be like, you know, yeah, it's almost like thanks. You know, I think to them, it's like it's hit that point together collectively is like this really right. affirming mm -hmm. moment. It's like them. the payoff. You know, they were. It was like you know starts from a really simple thing that 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 you know we always come back to uh if i can't understand what you're saying musically right. then how are they going to understand it you know, right. i'm a musician and i know you really well so if you're playing a, a riff that's really fast and complicated and well look at me i'm so good and i'm right. up there playing and i can't even really grab onto what you're doing you know and generally when we do get hooked up it's simple it's on a, some very simple level and the levels vary sometimes it's all of us going, you know, and, and sometimes it's boom, dee, boom, boom, dee, boom, dee, boom. But we're hearing each other and listening. And we just kind of see that as, I, I do, as the first hurdle to get over. And and then they're going to understand too, you know? You know what I mean? I think we just discovered over time that it's, that we can have a lot of fun um, jamming and and... Um, that that sort of um, taking risks and and um, seeing where the music can go is is it can be a lot more fun than just standing on stage and being, playing what they heard on the album or, or even well, no, <laughs> that or even just being you know cool like feeling cool looking or or, or you know hey I'm in a and I'm in a band and I'm on a rock star and you know all this right, stuff. Yeah. A lot of bands probably that's their favorite thing to feel, or, or not a lot, but some, but but definitely some pop musicians, you know, would seem, e ego seem to feeding, have that. feeding, feeding and ego. some others, uh, we, uh, like it's a us, feeding frenzy. We, I think we've just discovered ways that for us we we can have more fun, and, and, and that involves more more of the the letting loose and uh, seeing where it can go. Long show, like the world's longest. We want to play the world's yeah. longest concert, yeah. continuous playing without a break. We're gonna. They want to We're gonna. Like, we're gonna get porta potties, porta -potties on, stage. on stage. Beds. No beds. No beds. We can't. I thought sleep. you something. Oh, I thought no, you. No, we. we, 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 we you, if you want to sleep, you go to the stage. No, no beds. Well, yeah, lie on stage.
<laughs> so take well, us through that for a second. The long gig? Uh, well, we want to see what happens. <laughs> we have times. <laughs> the lights go down. The lights go down. We start playing. We don't leave for three days. That's three days. That's cool. <laughs> Non-stop. The long gig. The <laughs> no stopping. Set Originally, set the breaks. original idea was no set breaks. No set breaks even. Just going. The original idea was was but we not, tell was people not, they've got not, sleeping not bags to tell and people. And, well, that was the original, the original idea. idea was we just wanted to, to see because they all. No matter how long we play, I'm sorry. <laughs> no matter how long we play, there's always people at the end who wished we had played longer, right? So, <laughs> so we started thinking, how long would they stay? You know, I mean, if we just kept playing and kept playing, what would happen? Would they? Obviously, most people would eventually have to leave. But would you be left with a core of like a hundred people who were willing to stay a week? You know, how long? How long would they stay? Could we outlast them? And what would happen from like the sleep deprivation and everything? I mean, what kind of music would you be playing after sixty or seventy hours? I think even music after, that no even one's after ever like twelve hours. I think it would cross into that. Oh yeah, oh definitely. But yeah. I want to know what would happen right. after it crosses right, into right, that. Right. And then how many, how many layers? Where does it go from there? And then back again, and then back again, like you know, eight or ten times. Then what would happen? Would we just? What kind of music would we be playing? What would be sounding good to us, and what would it sound like to somebody who just walked in after sixty hours, when we thought, we "Wow, this is really incredible." It was so much. <laughs> we just walked in. Discovered there was so much better crap. after twelve or fourteen hours that we had. <laughs> Every time we played, we had to play for twelve. Or 14 hours. <laughs> like you guys were going, were they were even there for twelve hours before, and then we'd, we'd let them in. <laughs> then we played Letterman. <laughs> yeah, we play the first 12 hours of the gig with no audience and then start playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Plus, we could have guest musicians sit in. Oh, yeah, yeah, people can come in and sort of. And you could pick your people by how deep people, into it you are. People from the audience could come up yeah, and play guitar. The last person, Marshall, Marshall Allen. Allen. <laughs> <laughs> After three days. <laughs> Just don't let him hang out in the dressing room before that. <laughs> All right, yeah. Oh man, I, I can't wait. I think if, if we were gonna really do it seriously, though, we might want to try and talk the staff into sticking out the whole time as well, to see how, see what happens to them. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, we weren't even gonna tell the originally. A some, group some, deprivation some of experience. The, we were gonna tell the uh, some of the staff the people that they Almost nobody would go to. The staff would sleep at some point. Too, you know, I mean, at some point. But the new idea is to tell people, and so they can be prepared. I have footage from the first. And what? The first oh, long and game then game. there's the rule: you can't make a phone call from inside the venue. Yeah, no phone if calls. If you want to leave, you can leave, leave, but you, you can't, can't come back. back in. And when you're in there, you can't. And that was going to go along with the idea of not telling people ahead of time that this was going to happen. Mm -hmm. we so they couldn't call them. home to tell them to, to say, "Oh, I can't make it to work." Or, but then we thought that you, was you, like. You oh no, no, we were going to allow them to make phone calls, but only they were going to monitor them. One of two things: one is I'm not going to be there and hang up, and the other is. I think that was it. I'm not going to be there. <laughs> I think that was the only thing you could say. Either that or you had to leave. Oh, yeah, I'm I had late. to leave. <laughs> I'm going to be late. Really late. <laughs> days late. I'm going to be oh, days man. late. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I just had this image of yeah. like camera crews gathering outside the venue, you know, gr gradually over the days yeah. of like... What the hell is going on in there? Staking it out. <laughs> But now, if we figure if we tell people ahead of time, we'll, we'll probably get a higher number of people that would stick it out for a while, and, and you know they wouldn't get in trouble and all sorts of stuff. Oh, oh, hi. oh, hi. Asian spice ginger brew. A higher. So chance. when? That would be probably after this tour and before the next tour. I don't know. <laughs> the LG. So. We're gonna talk about it. It's tough to do it in the middle of a tour because it's going to be pretty debilitating. But the crew's got to basically, well, they don't have to be up the whole time, but you got well, to be up a lot of time. time. <sighs> sound, I've never stayed up for, sound. I don't think I've ever been up for. I'll tell you, man, I stayed up for three days at that party. Yeah. And How was it? How were you guys? So we were in thinking about it a day, like 36 I did hours or something a day, which is a straight day and a half. Five days, you stayed up. Even that. Think you could do it again? That would that would do it, I think. You can always start with a day and a half. The most the most I stayed up well just. Take it up another notch the next I'm about time. to say stay up oh, is three. I don't think of three days. That's a long time. I, know I, I would say shoot. For but I know I can stay up for three going. days. 
That's a pretty long time. That's a long concert. That's <laughs> a pretty good starting point. That's basically... Then if we feel like... Uh, that that point, point, let's two jam. Normal gigs. <laughs> let's jam. Yeah, and we should plus stay. The, the entire amount of time between two normal gigs. Yeah. Plus, plus the, the night. night after the second gig. If you if you if oh, you great. if you book seventy two solid hours, <laughs> right. yes, yeah, you book extra. But book seventy two. You book seventy two hours. It goes lot. Book seventy two. The thing is, you hours. have to. For me, I'm gonna need to know. I, I need to know beforehand from what you guys be? that we're gonna go a certain distance. Right. Because then you get this kind of lingering feeling like, oh, those guys want to stop and. We gotta, you know, we yeah. gotta we but gotta I, say I we're gonna go. Commitment. We gotta make a right. commitment because then we just we know we're going. And if we and and with we we book seventy two hours with with room to continue, but but we we did we, or whatever the, whatever the, <laughs> I say we book seventy two hours and, and plan on going for thirty six solid, and, you know. And, well, we got and, first and, we got to see what the long. record is. First we got to see what the record we is. But that. I know we can do thirty six. I bet. Well, no, we, we can, can do. You know, the thing is, the other, we had this other idea about, you know, to break as many other Guinness records during it as possible. <laughs> oh yeah, that's we right. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So how do we do we break the people with the marshmallows? Are coming close. How do we do it? We break the record for the most Guinness records broken in one place. Yeah, that'd be, uh, yeah, yeah. Like there's a picture of the guy with like 80, 800 cigarettes in his mouth. You know, like, yeah, guy with one invite, more. Like we invite all those people. <laughs> the guy that ate the most baked beans in one city. Big twins on the motorcycle. <laughs> that, would be, that would be great. <laughs> a whole section of just Siamese twins. Bob, still. Bob Beeman. <laughs> <laughs> Bob Beeman trying to re trying re to break his twin Those Siamese twins separated in oh. one location. Yeah. That's, that is a plan. <laughs> we should try uh, the uh, most Siamese twins that have separated, separated in one sport. We, we should try forgot. and break we one, forget one forget in that, every category. Just, yeah. Like, like yeah. we have someone doing a sport. That would thing be great. Like People would love that. That would give them something else to do than listen to the stupid music that would be going on at that point. The seesaw people, you know, like while we're playing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that might be so cool. You'd have to find endurance things that went like two days. Yeah. And get people to break that. You'd have to, yeah. The LG. That's going to be a. The thing is, we also, if we do set the record for the longest gig, we do want to we want to set it so. I'd want to establish it so well that it would be tough to break. Like. I want to. I want to push ourselves. To the the thing literally, is people. They have like a, I've read about like that. You know, I think it's like the Central South American tribe or something. Uh, they have those those yearly dance yeah. orgy kind of things. I figured you know? there'd be some tribal people where they you know they go for yeah days on end. Let's Just dancing them. and drumming and dancing. We'll have to check it out. Let's we'll have to see them. exactly how it's working. Let's get them up here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just so you can go longer. Yeah, you're sitting there. Have that play on the other side of the room and I'll yeah, say yeah. this. I just, just show it out. And fish, never head of the tribal people. Yeah. Just to see what it'd be like, though. Yeah. What's the longest we've ever actually jammed? We've had some, we've had some um, eight, eight hour jams. Fish, you were, you were asleep the whole time though. last time. Yeah, Your face thing. was on the snare drum. Like, <laughs> 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 the three of us were like.